Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Z and this is gonna be some important messages for Leos. So if you have Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this read could resonate with you, but keep in mind, the overall read is very, very general. So yeah, let's see what comes out here. This is for October, but I just um, say October for the sake of YouTube. So yeah, um, what important messages does Leos need to hear right now? What do they need to hear right now? So first card out, we have house. Some of you guys could be feeling like down or you're thinking about a house or something or a living situation with this energy that's showing up here. Um, house and thought. So let's see. Tell me more. Some of you guys could be thinking about moving. What else does Leo needs to know right now? So we got merriment and we got enemy that's showing up here too. Now, with this enemy energy and merriment, for some of you guys, it's like maybe you were um, dealing with somebody who was like the enemy. It could be somebody that you was married to or somebody that you were dealing with. It could have been somebody that you was living with, too. Tell me more for Leo. What else does Leo need to know here? So, yeah, jealousy showing up here and enemy. So, somebody dealing with a op the opposition, okay, I don't know who it is. But, yeah, um, it could be somebody that you were living with. But somebody could be jealous about, because um, it's like an outside energy here. They could be, like, looking into some type of um, marriage or a connection. It's, like, between you and another person. So let's see. Tell me more for Leo. What else do they need to know? Yeah, it looks like this could be something that you're coming into, though, because we got fortune. You're about to experience good fortune here. So this is coming towards you. You could actually be receiving a new home. You could be um, about to get into some type of connection to where it's going to, you know, cause some type of jealousy or something. Because, like, somebody peeking around the corner, it's like they seeing where you and your person. It's like they be knowing... It's almost like paparazzi too. <laughs> the energy I'm getting is like, um, they just pop up when you and your person going out to eat or y'all doing whatever y'all doing. Tell me more. This could be a spirit. Like, I feel like someone's about to come into like a spiritual connection too. It's like you and this person um, have a spiritual connection. It's like very high vibrational too with this merriment energy. Tell me more. What else does Leo need to know? What else do they need to know? What else does Leo need to know right now? Let's get another card. Okay, so we got letter. There could be some type of, um, yeah, look, y'all got somebody in your energy to where it's like someone's sneaking around here with this thief card that's showing up here. It's like, it could just be somebody who um, could be fishing for information or something, but it's giving me like that paparazzi, like TMZ type of energy. That's what it, that's what it's giving. But letter, some of y'all could be receiving some type of um, letter or like information, some good news. Let's see. Tell me more for Leo. Tell me more. So we got some money and we got desire that's showing up here too. Some of y'all are about to come into some money. It's almost like you, I feel like this money is attached to this letter. So it could be like an email too for somebody. This could be something that you're desiring. So know that with your desire, you're going to receive it. Tell me more for Leo. Look, enemy keeps showing. Oh, the enemy is showing up to where I don't know who it could be for somebody. It could be a masculine or a feminine energy. I don't know. But it's whoever you had some type of misfortune with. It's almost like maybe you had a tower moment with this person. It's like, it's done. So it's like, they still in your life, pretty much. But not really. Tell me more. They could be upset too. But be mindful of who you... Be mindful of the company that you keep too. Because you're about to come into some money. But it's almost like maybe somebody found out about it too. And look, that energy is still showing up surrounding that jealousy too. So tell me more for Leo. What else do they need to know? Dang, this card's spilling all the tea. Okay, look, we got baby that's showing up here too. And we got my lady. Some of you guys could actually be about to um, have a child. Like maybe someone, somebody's about to um, 
conceive a child here with this milady because it looks like you know she could be um about to have a child or something this could be like the mother or father or someone's child but yeah be mindful of like who you have in your home or who you could be connected to it could be just like someone you have a child with but um yeah someone's looking into a, your situation or like what you got going on Tell me about house here for Leo. Wow. Tell me about house for Leo. Why did this show up? Yeah, look, seven of swords, y'all. But I do feel like some type of truth. It's like maybe you found out the truth about somebody. I feel like someone got caught. I'm hearing someone got caught red-handed. It's like ain't no way they can cover it up or paint a different picture it is what it is it's like for some of y'all it's like maybe you did have an enemy that was close to you and spirit definitely revealed it to you so it's like ain't no going back from that so yeah with this seven of swords that's coming out someone could have got caught doing something in the house too tell me about merriment for um leo We got the magician justice. So this, you're about to receive um, a manifestation, y'all, with this magician card and justice. But I feel like you guys are coming into union with someone that you have a lot of chemistry with. This is your justice. I'm seeing um, a form of commitment to for someone. But I feel like you found out, yeah, you found out about somebody here with a magician card and a seven of swords. That's coming out too. Let's see. Tell me about jealousy here for um Leo. Tell me about jealousy for Leo. I feel like whoever you could have been dealing with or whoever you guys had some type of misfortune with, you could have been living with the person too. They're going to be upset that like pretty much um they deceive you and it's like they're going to see you with some type of wish fulfillment, like your manifestation. This could be like a spiritual union for somebody too. Yeah, especially next to this card right here. I don't know how to say the word, y'all, but excuse me. I'm seeing some type of like divine connection. Yeah, they're um upset. Tell me about jealousy for Leo. I hear sirens too. Somebody could have called the police. <laughs> I don't know, but look, we got the Eight of Pentacles coming out here. Three of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be um, working on a new partnership with this um, Eight of Pentacles. And we got this Three of Swords. So yeah, for some of you guys, you, um, I feel like a third party. And I feel like it could be somebody that you have a child with. It could be like the mother or father of someone's child. Tell me about a letter. Yeah, look, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, too. Some of you guys could be about to receive some type of information, but it's a, this outside energy, y'all. They're spying. I told you, it's giving, like, TMZ. Um, I want to say the shade room so bad, but it's, like, not that. It's, like, that TMZ, like, paparazzi, where um, someone's trying to get some type of information. So, let's see. But there is some type of communication, that could be coming in or maybe you're you're um, giving out the communication. But we got the world card. Yeah, you guys close out a cycle here. Something new is about to start. It's something solid too. And it's going to be very um, successful here. But with the world card, you're about to come into this energy to where it's like fulfillment. And I feel like it has something to do with that merriment energy. So yeah, um, let's see. This one is to show up. I'm just going to leave it right here. Because I was just shuffling the cards and it popped out. But some money. Let's see what this is. Tell me about some money. I feel like you about to come into some money. You about to be um, with your person. It's spiritual union. And the ops is watching. <laughs> it is some sirens going on outside, y'all. Um, tell me about some money. I actually don't be hearing sirens like that. But I hear them tonight. Tell me about some money here for um, Leo. And I've just seen the King of Wands like ooh, slightly. Tell me about this some money here for Leo. Tell me about some money. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, y'all, Ten of Pentacles. You're about to come into your Ten of Pentacles here. With this Page of Pentacles that's showing up here, this could be like a new career opportunity, but it's definitely some good news surrounding money, y'all. Yeah, you're about to receive some communication. 
it's like as you close out this old cycle y'all like you being deceived or you dealing with some people who were really the enemy i feel like someone was living with the enemy it could be like a friend or a family member but um it's actually working out in your favor here. Yeah, look, 10, 10 could be very significant, y'all. And I didn't even notice, because today I did a collective read, and I didn't realize that today was actually 10, 10. So it's like a portal. But yeah, okay, this is a juicy read. Okay, tell me about enemy here for Leo. Yeah, that 10 of swords wants to show up, 8 of swords too. Now, with this energy that's coming out, for some of you guys, you have been betrayed here by a person. But I feel like someone's upset. Someone's in their head here about some type of ending with you. Tell me about baby for um for Leo. And it could be the person that you're coming into union with too. It's like an outside energy that's trying to um cause problems or something. Tell me about baby for Leo. Five of Pentacles. We got the Queen of Cups. A water sign. A female water sign could be very significant for someone like a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But with this Five of Pentacles that's coming out here, um, there could be some fear surrounding money or something. But I feel like a woman is like sick. And that my, my lady energy showing up here too. It's like a woman laying in the bed. Yeah, there could be some issues here going on with someone like a pregnancy or something in this moon card. Tell me about, um, tell me, give me more about baby. Give me more about, yeah, someone's going to be expecting y'all. Uh, tell me about baby here. Yeah, little eight of wands. And we got the tower. This could be happening unexpectedly though. Now I am asking about, it's like for October, but this could happen at any time. But it's like what you're um, moving into or you could be receiving some, some type of communication. Um, but I feel like this is the energy that's coming in. But there is some type of unexpected change. I feel like someone could be finding out they're expecting like fast or something. We got the high priestess that showed up here too, Knight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like with this Knight of Wands, I feel like this is your energy or this could be someone coming towards you. And look, King of Wands, so yeah, this is your energy. And it's crazy, this was like like this. I almost didn't see the King of Wands. But yeah, for some guys, you could be needing to trust your instincts here. But I do see where you could be like leaving a certain situation too. But I'm seeing like travel movement. It's like this is what you're moving into. Tell me more about this energy. Why is this enemy energy showing up? Like, what is this about for Leo? So we got the King of Pentacles, Ten of Wands showing up here too. Yeah, for some of you guys, you got somebody in your energy where they're seeing you as a King of Pentacles or something. A uh, Earth sign could be very significant, like Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But yeah, you're about to undergo some type of change. Ace of Cups, this new love that's coming in for someone. But overall it's like you're about to experience the overflow it's like your blessings are coming in and it's like other people can see it. it's like people who deceived you or people who um were not of your highest good pretty much they're gonna be seeing you be super blessed pretty much so yeah it's like you're about to receive the world a king of cups could be very significant too like a um cancer another cancer pisces or a scorpio but yeah, that's pretty much what the messages was, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end the read here. And I'll see y'all in the next read.